Hello and welcome back everybody. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Zhanya with more Mars Anomalies and Artifacts. We're returning to the southern mid-latitudes of Mars to a vast region called Promethei Terra. Lots to see guys and girls, so let's get cracking on. He has an elevated view of Promethei Terra and we'll be checking out all the anomalies and artifacts that uh, I've pinned to the map. Just a quick overview, in the first episode we had a look at Elysium Planitia, which is this vast region located on the equator of Mars, where we find Insight Lander and Rover Curiosity. Then we went over to Argaia Planitia, which is down in the southern mid-latitudes. Next we did Noarcus Terra, and uh, in this video we'll be checking out Promethei Terra. And uh, it's an extensive land mass according to NASA. So as is customary with all the other regions, I'll break these up into quadrants just to make it a little bit easier to keep track of the anomalies. Hopefully I don't skip any in this one. Right. There we go. That should do. So let's start off top left quadrant. Let's move this over a bit. Right. More of these strange structures with protrusions on them. Check out that one there. It's very interesting as well. It's got like this rounded shape to it and uh, like a flange on either side with a small protrusion or knob on it right there. So a very strange sculpted piece potentially over there inside what looks like a hole. So I'm also going to go through these very briefly guys. Check out this uh, huge symmetrical object over there. Looks like there's some surface activity. Look at the way uh, the surface has been carved away or machined away. Got straight edges there in a right angle. And then right there in the center we've got that small conical feature. Megalithic blocks. These we can see still have the uh, the holes in them. This is a very good example of uh, some of these blocks with knobs or protrusions on them as well as uh, with holes in their surfaces. So did these fit together like Lego pieces? Check out we can see there's uh, two parts still connected to one another over there. Another one of these uh, strange symmetrical objects, very similar to the first one we had a look at. This one's just uh, a lot bigger and it's uh, on the surface, whereas this thing over here is uh, more like a megalithic block with a protrusion or hole there in its center. Another little triangle on top of a larger part that's arranged parallel with the one side again. Row of smaller items there. You're going to see lots of uh, geometric patterns on these things, guys. Check out the straight edges and the right angle there. Yeah, again, got three objects there. That even looks like a small hole on it. Another little triangle parallel with this one side. And there we go again, guys. Check this out. This is about 12 meters across. And there again, we've got a triangular object on top of it. More alignment. Got four dark spots in a row there, guys, parallel with this one side. 
as we see quite often on Mars too, these circular patterns, the way that these smaller objects are arranged around the center objects. This over here looks almost like an aeroplane lying on top of that block. That there looks like the wings, the tail section and the fuselage. Who knows what that is guys, like a cross. Okay, let's go over to the top right hand quadrant. I'll we'll start at the top. as another one of those strange parts consisting of two larger pieces separated by a straight line and then there's a small interconnecting part in the center. I don't know what to make of those things. There's a very interesting geometric shape as well. So very symmetrical. Get the shape it's almost like a craft with three smaller parts there at the back. Equal distance between those. More alignment going on there. And uh, here we've got a small protrusion on this half a disc shaped object. Check that out again guys, more discs with protrusions on them. This one's got like a small dome, that would be about three and a half to four meters in diameter. There's another one of those discs with a smaller disc embedded on it. We've seen that on Mars as well. More blocks or slabs. And there again, guys, you've got uh, four smaller objects in a row, parallel to the one side of this larger object. I don't know what to make of this, guys and girls. Smaller objects on top of this uh, larger piece. Looks like uh, some type of wreckage, potentially. But three small parts in a row there. Check it the gap over here between these two objects. With two smaller parts sticking out there. And then uh, another one here right in the center of this larger piece. And uh, this T-shape anomaly we've seen quite a bit of as well. Check that out guys, right angles there. Get this piece. Straight edges, parallel sides. That there looks like uh, a turret on top of this. Not that it is, just looks like it guys, check that out like a circular depression on top of this and uh, then what looks like a type of a cylindrical part on top with this long narrow piece coming off to the right there again we've got uh, three objects in a row on top of this arranged parallel with this one side and there we've got that pattern repeated again. With two similar sized objects over here in each corner of that part over there. Yeah, again, two larger parts separated by a straight line or a bevel. And uh, small parts in the center that looks like uh, this thing might have broken up. And this geometry we've seen so often on Mars, four larger parts still next to one another in a square pattern like that. Check at the straight lines going through there, perpendicular over here. Looks like a little craft. It's got a small little dome on it. Three smaller parts over here in a triangle.
straight edges and a right angle to that part. This looks like a, a slab. It's got like a uniform uh, depth to it. This is strange. Two long narrow pieces next to one another. Very straight. That doesn't look like a typical boulder or rock. I wonder if this is a part that's sticking out of an opening over here. Check out this, like a chevron shape lying on top of this larger part. Got a small hole in it over here in front of it, perpendicular to it, guys. Various parts, each with protrusions and knobs of them. Like a dome shape over here. Now he has a strange block. Looks like it has a ramp on the one side. Small little protrusion in its center. Another one of those L-shaped pieces. Those are quite common on Mars. Three more items in a row there. Three smaller spheres or domes on this one in a triangle. Three dark spots over here on this one side. We're saying a perfect triangle. And there again, two large parts, straight groove or bevel on it, and a smaller part in the center. Here's another one of these larger parts with a small triangle on the top. These two objects are very similar. Two large parts next to two narrow parts and the two larger parts have got these protrusions on them. Another part that's uh, very similar, this is almost like a chevron shape, I'll show you a couple of those, they're coming up. Straight edges and right angle on that object and again yeah, we can see a circular pattern depicted over here, those objects arranged uh, around this small disk in the center. These look like old ruins, with these megalithic blocks all over the place. Check out these equal spacing between them, virtually the same size in rows as well. Here we've got uh, an arrangement of smaller blocks in a circular pattern around this one, two, three, four, five sided object. And in the center of it we've got that small part. As I say guys, could that be ancient ruins that we're looking at there? One of three of these massive triangular parts that are found. Each side is about 12 meters in length. On top of this one we've got what looks like a type of a lid or a hatch. Look at that perfect hole in it right there in its center. More blocks, straight edges on that, check at the right angles. Look at that long piece, that there is about 18 meters long. It's got straight edges and right angles to it, but it's also convex. Looks almost like a bent up sheet metal. Strange disc with a part there on top of it. It's almost like a, a flying hat UFO. <laughs> Who knows? 
multiple layers on that there and a small hole in the center of that object and here again another block it's got right angles to it a uniform thickness and three objects arranged in a row on top in a diagonal fashion another block with a part carved into the one side on the edge over there right let's move this over a bit this is where I found uh, that strange megalithic block next to a long narrow piece and this is another one like that in Argaia Planitia. This one's just got a small protrusion or knob on it. Look at the uncanny resemblance there. This is also a very strange part. I don't know if this is uh, a type of a structure. It looks like it has a rectangular opening over here on the one side. Another disc with a dome on it. This one's got two smaller round objects on top of it as well. One on each side of that dome. Looks like some type of craft. There's a strange chevron piece as well. That there's small. It's about uh, two and a half meters across. I don't know what to make of this thing. It looks like uh, a metal object with the edges on this thing. It's got right angles as well. Some type of uh, wreckage or machine over here as well. Are we looking at some type of tech? Get the symmetry and geometry in this thing. Got like an oval design straight back over here and a small little square on the top this looks like a piece of metal the way it's bent right more pieces that look like metal debris or wreckage. I don't know what to make of these. It's a massive block. This is about 12 meters long. And it's got a protrusion or conical feature right there. In the center of that uh, one side. more of those Get the small parts on top of these items and uh, in most cases they are right in the center of the larger parts right let's go down to the bottom left quadrant looks like uh, another one of these pull box type of designs very similar to that uh, disc with the dominant that I showed you guys earlier those are three smaller objects arranged in a triangle strange dome shaped object there and again one two three four five sided object small part there in the center of this one side perpendicular with the apex there and this is also something that uh, I've seen quite a bit of as well looks like uh, a depiction of an eye
strange tombstone shaped object it's about 12 meters long it's got a small rectangular part lying on top perpendicular to this one side and he has a, a perfect hole in the center of that object huge disc there's about 18 meters in diameter but the way it's pushed up the sand on the one side yeah and in its center it's got that uh, conical part triangle check that out yeah again the triangle yeah guys and uh, we've got another half a disc and you had two lots of blocks protrusions and knobs in them very much like those down in South America very strange bright part on this it's also quite tall look at the long shadow it casts small little sphere lying in that opening we've seen a similar object like this in Asimov it's got like a partial disc shape to it right angle over there two very similar disc shapes and uh, this object's rather strange it's got like a wedge shape to it with three rectangular openings on this one side to get the right angles there two chevrons over here guys get the symmetry and geometry on this piece and on its center it's got that small square object this one too it's got a small little object in its center there's another smaller triangle on top of a larger part strain surface feature yeah we get the straight edges and right angles there with a small block lying in the opening here's another one of those discs strange dome like part on the top another pumpkin seed shaped object over here it's got a rounded part on the top running through the center over there right bottom right quadrant more disc shaped objects guys that there's about eight meters in diameter And this looks like uh, some type of covering. Get the surface activity around it. Could that be an opening? It's got a small dark object sticking out of the opening there. And that looks like a hole on top with like a lid. Almost like a hatch you could say. one two three four small objects in a row there the spacing between those and they're parallel with this one side
I don't know what the significance of uh, these patterns are. It's like glyphs on stone objects here on earth. I wonder what they depict. There's a rectangular dark area on top of this block. It's got like a raised part in the center, like an L shape. Right angle there. It's a very long narrow piece. It's about 18 meters long. Look at these things, they're in the centers of these large objects. Look at the uniform depth to this block partially raised off the surface. And right there in its center it's got this oval hole with a small round part sticking out of the opening. Almost like a periscope. Not that it is, but uh, it's weird. There's another chevron shaped part there. Look at that jagged edge. Another L shaped piece. Look at the perfect edges on this thing. Very straight side over here, parallel with that side over here. Another one of these strange eye depictions. The square part over here is perpendicular to that uh, triangle next to it. This looks like sheet metal. There's another piece. It's got that shape. Right angles there. That's it for this grand tour, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and do let me know down in the comments below what you guys and girls made of these. I'll be doing another grand tour in the near future, so do stay tuned for that one. To my new subs, thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.